welcome. Today we're going to be using up some of these jelly prints that we recently made. And I'm going to be making, and I have to decide, either ATCs, artist trading cards, or maybe I'll turn these into something like um, journaling cards, postcards, something like that. I want to see what they look like before I decide. So I'm just going to start gluing now. This is a pizza box that I cut down and I just scrubbed it up with some emery board and then it's plain on this side. So I'm just going to start out and I'll make this the back and I'm just going to use glue stick on this back part. Uh, glue stick. <laughs> Julie. I'm just going to use book page on this part. And I already worked on getting this and I'm going to plan on trimming around the edge or sometimes if it's just a little bit, I can ink around the edge. So, uh, but I'm not folding it over the edge like I do in making like a journal cover. I don't want that demarcated edge like that because when, as we cut it, then it'll be like one side or two sides, but not both sides. You know what I mean. So I don't want it to be like that. And here we go. So what are you doing in the crafting world? Are you working in a sketchbook, a journal? Have you made some artist trading cards? Maybe you're in one of those swaps. I used to do swaps. I don't really mind doing them, but Mostly my ATCs, I either use them as business cards or I give them away having, you know, with, with something else kind of a thing. So I really don't, I really don't need extras. And if they're going to be a business card, I want them to be something that I made. You know what I mean. So anyway, let's get rid of this and keep going on covering this up. I covered up all my book page. There we go. So, are you in a swap? Maybe you're doing one of those open collabs. I'm looking at something like that. I think I might like to try it. Um, I'm not really sure how exactly you find them. And then if you find them, when is too old? Because I found some that seemed like they would be fun and interesting, but they were already several months old. So I was like, well, maybe you're supposed to jump on the bandwagon a little bit sooner than I did. I don't know. I don't know the etiquette of that. So I'm just going to wait. And if you know, please tell me in the comments how these open collabs work, because I think it'd be fun. I like a challenge. I, um, I didn't do world watercolor it was world watercolor month in july i did not do that frankly because i'm doing videos and i didn't want to be doing something that specific every day you know i didn't want to have to come up with watercolor every day but they can be a lot of fun i've done inktober in the past uh will i do it this year don't know um but inktober is a fun challenge very fun i liked it and you know it's ink and that makes you think of pen and ink but people use all kinds of different inks you know they consider what what's in a marker um in ink so if you're using an alcohol marker or a watercolor marker they consider that ink you know what's inside of it is ink and um, you know if you spray inks i mean they're just there's no police, but of course you want to stay within the flavor of the challenge, but you are in, you know, just picking out something that you feel fits the criteria and you just read what the creator has for their guidelines and they are guidelines. They're not rules. Ultimately, it's whatever brings you joy do that so will i do that again this year like i said don't know um i'm not opposed to it but honestly 
it's going to kind of depend on what's going on here with my channel because again I don't want to have to do 30 days of ink pen and ink drawings and because that's usually what I do is pen and ink drawings maybe I'll throw a little watercolor on it or something or colored ink but uh, you know I don't want to be beholden to something like that when I want to be doing stuff with you yeah so I you know you see me tap this thing it's because I'm looking for a place that's not too gluey because there's no point in putting glue stick on one side and gluing it fast to my glue book so you would think that using a glue stick would be one of the cleanest ways but I tell you my fingers never get any stickier than when I'm trying to do a project with glue stick don't mind but it's just funny because you would think like I said that it's a little bit cleaner than it is but no no you gotta deal with the sticky fingers inky fingers all kinds of things with mixed media but that's the joy I really and I still may do today I wanted to work in an art journal but this is something that I kind of need right now well I mean not like it's emergency but this would be something handy right now so I decided since I had these beautiful gel prints out this would be a perfect time to collage these up will we get them done I don't know we'll see no pressure but if we don't get them done then it'll just be a part two no harm in that these are laying down nice I think about halfway done it is middle of July and it is plenty hot and muggy but it's July it's supposed to be hot and muggy in western Michigan we had a little bit of rain yesterday and oh my could we use more but uh, where I live they do uh, use a sprinkling system so our grass looks pretty but uh, a lot of places don't and I don't blame them I'm not really sure how good that is for the water table but I don't think it can be too great um, but hey again to each his own and you know this is not only a place to live this is a business so you know, not me but I'm just saying you know I live in a complex and there's forever moving in moving out and so when you need to show it and have it look show ready I understand you don't want it to look like a straw pile so people say they can see past that my experience is no they can't can't you know they they may not even realize exactly why they like this spot better than that spot but the fact that one had beautiful lush green grass and one didn't you can you hear me you know I mean that <laughs> that's how people can be they don't do it on purpose I'm not trying to cast shade on anybody just it's the way life is so I'm putting these right side up upside down sideways doesn't really matter to me just getting them on there getting this side covered and you know I'm using a book this one is from the library and it was one of these that no one had checked out for the past five years. So they stick it out there for a quarter in there. They have a just a room. They don't, where I live, they don't have a particular day or a particular time where they have a friend of the library sale. They just have a room and you can go in there anytime you want. And this was in there. But if it doesn't get sold after a certain amount of time in there, out it goes. So I just feel like I'm rescuing these books from going straight into a bin and into a landfill. And I'm okay with that. I think it's, I think I'm doing a service by rescuing a few books here and there. 
Let's see. I'm trying to find a non-sticky spot, and I can't. Let's get another one. So tell me about your weather. Is it hot and dry? Now, I saw a guy from the UK. Who was he? Hmm. I'm trying to think. Oh, Carrie the Crafter. And he was saying how it was just so hot and muggy where he is. I believe he's in Wales. And um, he was saying it's just so hot and muggy in that there where he lives, they, there's very little bit of air conditioning. He says, if you want some relief, you open a window. But he says, we really are not designed for the kind of heat they're having. And that was just a couple of days ago, I think, that he filmed that. So, yeah, I think the UK is having some heat, hot weather. I've often wondered, if you know, let me know. But you know, the palaces and all these cottages and homes that the royalty live in, you know, they were certainly built before air conditioning, but I know that they've they've clearly been updated, but do I wondered if they have air conditioning because, wow, those are big places, but I can imagine that get plenty warm in there. Don't you suppose? I think about, you know, we've got big stores here, but they don't, they don't even come close to the size of some of those. Maybe like in a museum might be big like that. And of course, they're air conditioned here in the U.S. I left a tiny little spot there, but we'll get it covered. We'll get it covered. I kind of like this straight piece. I almost tore it off, but I'm going to use it on an edge. There's a lady that, a lady that doesn't sound very nice. I don't know what, a person that I watch, Gail Agostin, Agostinelli, Agostinelli, she lives in Montana, which is in the northwest part of the United States. And she lives in a foresty, woodsy area. And I know they are just watching out for fires because they've had so little of rain there. And they have lightning storms but no rain and then it can create forest fires so she was just saying um how she was well she and her family are just keeping an eye on that whole situation because it can turn urgent fast i'm sure it can but so far they're doing okay which is good news Look at almost done. Sometimes these last few pieces are harder to piece in than the whole rest of it. But I'll try not to dilly dally and get this part done. But I think this will make an awfully nice backing to these cards. And I will be trimming them up around the edge. I find it is a little bit more successful if I need to trim up the edges to do it um, after the glue stick has had just a, a little bit of time to dry. And it feels like this glue stick is really gripping with, you know, I, it doesn't take much rubbing up, rub, roughing up of the cardboard. M mostly you just want to get the shine off of it. If you can get the shine off of it, then your adhesives will stick. That's been my experience. I hope it's yours. I don't want to just say something willy-nilly, but I believe it's going to be okay if you go ahead and just rough it up a little bit. It's been my experience anyway. And I do it outside because even though it's not like you're sanding down a grand piano, it makes a fine dust, and next thing you know, it's it's all over the living room or the bedrooms or wherever. Ooh. Okay, this side's done. I'm going to let it rest a minute, and I'm going to start working on the other side. So for this side, what I want to do 
is I am going to use some book page, so I'm going to keep this out. I think I have plenty. I put the book up here in case I wish I had more, but I'm going to mix it with some of these. So we'll start out with some book page, as if you haven't seen enough of that. And again, I'm going to plan on trimming. So I'm going to let it hang over the edge a little bit. I don't mind. Because I didn't want to flop it over. Okay. Yeah, I was pretty surprised when I heard um, Carrie say that it's very few houses with air conditioning. And I wondered, like, even like a room air conditioner just to maybe get your bedroom. We've got some, you know, smaller air conditioning units here in the U.S. that you don't even have to, like, hang them out your window. They just have a little vent that vents outside that you just have to open your window and then it has a couple of little, I don't want to call them trap doors, but just a couple of little like uh, accordion folding things and they fold, you know, like, like this. And so you're not like ruining a windowsill and all that business so that you can, sorry, so that you can put this unit in and then you can plug it in and it'll, those things, I think they do two, three rooms because um, they're bigger than a regular window air conditioner and they don't seem to be just tremendously expensive. But, you know, I don't know how, maybe it's only two or three days a year that you do this. I think if it was me and I needed to work or something, I would uh, check into a hotel. <laughs> two days in a hotel is cheaper than an air conditioning unit plus the power to run it. So I probably would use that as an excuse for a little getaway. Sounds kind of fun, doesn't it? It's been years since I've spent a night in a hotel. I just haven't had the need. But Sometimes even for a staycation, it can be fun. You know, it's with all the, with all the diseases we have flying around here right now. My life is still very secluded. Pretty much the drugstore, the grocery store. I do go to the library to upload these videos because they have such fast uploading speeds. Um, but there's never anybody there when I'm there. So I still wear my mask, but there's just, I, I just have the place to myself. I wave hello to the librarians when I walk in and I wave goodbye when I leave. And I really, I'm not near people. So yeah, grocery store. I, have, I haven't been to church in years and church is a big part of my life, but nope, can't do that. So I'm home doing it online. I don't mind, but I miss the fellowship. Hey, I'm supposed to be using jelly pa paper in here, aren't I? Well, let's get started. We can still add some here and there, no problem. Let's give this a tear. Get some of this on here. Oh, this is too sticky. Maybe if I start in the top and work my way down, I won't get so confused as to where the clean spots are. Oh, Julie. Oh, Julie, Julie, Julie. There we go. I've got four edges that come together and I think I'll put this right there. Yeah, that looks good. I've got a nice straight edge here. Maybe I won't even yeah, I'll just stick that right up there. I have air conditioning here. And when I was looking for a place, when I moved from the east side of Michigan to the west side of Michigan, that was one of my check marks. I wanted air conditioning. Because when you move to a smaller place, you don't have as much 
opportunity for cross ventilation. You know what I mean? So, as I say, I'm not opposed to spending time in a hotel if it's getting too hot. But we have more than a day or two of, of good heat. So, I'm just happy to be able to have air conditioning. Plus, you know, I work outside the home and I'm a nurse. I happen to be working nights. I knew that was always a possibility that my assignment would be nights. And so uh, you, even sleeping in the day without air conditioning can be so hard. And if you leave all your windows open, you run the risk of having an awful lot of outdoor noise as well. So to try to avoid that, as well as just getting some sound sleep after working. But I didn't grow up with air conditioning, that's for sure. Our, our air conditioning was a box fan and we felt that was pretty high tech. <laughs> Worked makes it a difference just having the air move and then um, some houses we I've lived in had um, what they call we call them attic fans oh I love a good attic fan because that can bring the cool air of the evening in at night and it's just so nice really nice that can save you air conditioning dollars because those things don't take up anywhere near the electric that an air conditioning with the compressor does. Okay, have I caught up or should I add a little more? Maybe I'll add just a little bit more. It's in the winter, winter that I like to cook more things in the oven and now we've been just having more salads and you know, not leaving soup or stew on the stove all day. That just, talk about heating up your house. Chili, you know, no, we're not doing chili right now. Uh, but if there is some, I'll eat it. <laughs> I'm not opposed to eating it in the heat. I'm just not wanting to heat up the whole house to cook it. No baking cookies. Like I need another cookie. Oh, boy. I've just about killed this glue stick and it was brand new when we started. So you can see this can really use up the glue stick, but that's all right. That's quite okay. Got another one handy. think we're going along good here. What do you think? Sticking to my fingers. I have a nice corner piece that I am going to put in the corner. Can I get one more out of this? I think I can. Okay. Ooh, there we go. All right. Now it's almost getting to the point that I'm going to start tearing this paper because I'm sticking to it so fast. So I am grabbing a baby wipe just to take a layer of glue off of my fingers. Now, once my baby wipes are gone, I won't be buying anymore. I understand they're not good for our environment, but I'm going to finish up the ones I have because it just doesn't seem any point to throw them away, right? Okay, another pink one here. Checking my glue paper. I think I can get one more out of this glue stick.
Good, good, good. Okay. Book page. Well, I may save that. That's a nice piece of book page. A nice large piece of plain book page. And let's get a roll on here. If I use a glue stick from start to finish, all in one sitting like this, I don't find it gets weird, but if I, you know, pick up a glue stick and it is almost gone, it just seems like that gets kind of goopy. I still use them, but just have to be kind of a little more careful, I guess how I use it because now this is gone and it, it it will just blob off onto my paper. So let's throw that away. Oh, this one I thought was new, but it's not. It's all right. We'll see how far we get. We don't have far to go. At least I don't think so. It does get more difficult the further you get. I think this piece can go over here. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it though, there. I had some people give some recommendations on some glue sticks. Um, one of them wasn't one that I can get easily in the United States and the other one was the exact one I'm, I'm using it's the scotch so I found on clearance from Ranger's site the Diane Reevely glue sticks which have rave reviews they're the littler ones uh, designed for the dialogue little um, journals which I have but they're not much smaller than the one I'm using so I'm I grabbed it and I'm looking forward to using it. I ended up with six. They came in a package of three and I bought two packs. So, because I have confidence they'll be fine. I'm seeing or feeling like I could use a little bit more blue on that other side. Now I am going to cut it. I will, I will be cutting this up, but I don't, well, hopefully I will have both colors on whatever I'm cutting, but, you know, maybe I will, maybe I won't. You never know, do ya? Okay, I'm going to stick a blue one over here. Do you like these colors together? I think they look good. think they look really good. And they both, I think, yeah, they both have a little bit of shimmer, but not a lot, which I think is just perfect. I don't think I want this to be all glitzy. It's just every once in a while, if you hold it just right, you're like, oh, look, a little sparkle. I like that. Where can this one go and kind of get a difficult spot? Okay, good. So my grandson's birthday was here since the last time I was here. And we had beautiful weather. It was plenty warm, but it wasn't sunny. It was still a little overcast, which made it very nice for an outdoor affair. And um, there was a good number of people. I know that the, the children had a great time. So it was just a lot of fun. And it wasn't too long as it wasn't too short. It was just right. The food was delicious. 
and I shared a little, I guess it's a hack. I got it from, I think, Pinterest, but boy, don't quote me on that. I think, though, I think it was Pinterest, where they said, you know, I call them hotel pans. Those pans that are good size and that, you know, if you buy food that's prepared, they come in those pans. Well, you you can buy them in the grocery store here, just, you know, made out of aluminum pressed aluminum and so you just take those uh, pressed aluminum and you go ahead and fill it about halfway with water you know and you got to start this process a couple of days before your your shindig but then you can set another pan just like it with the food in it and then if you've got coleslaw or potato salad it's sitting on a nice solid block of ice and it stays cold and honestly, that coleslaw was cold for hours. No worrying about that at all. It was just great. So that was a big help, not having to change over and lift it up and put ice under it. Uh-uh, it was all set, ready to go. And when we were cleaning up and putting away, there was still a good amount of ice in there like like half so and when you took a scoop of coleslaw cold yay okay i just got one little spot right there unless you see a spot that i'm not seeing and i'm just going to give it a bit of book page and then we're on to part two okay and we've had a nice chat. Thanks. Thanks for visiting with me. I appreciate it. Okay. I still left a little there, but you know what? When I ink around them, I think we'll be all right. All right. I'm going to move some of this and bring this back towards me. Cover the glue stick. Now, I don't know. I do have, I guess, on both sides, so I'm still going to wait to trim it. This has dried some, and I wanted it to dry some before I did this next step. So I've got a bluish and a pinkish color on that paper, the paper from the gel printing. So I've got a bluish, and this is Distress Stain, so it's not as um, woof as, as the dilutions. And this is Mermaid Lagoon. And I've got this one, which is the bubblegum pink. And this is a little bit brighter, but that's okay. And when I'm not soaking the whole thing, I'm going to do it where I just put a little spray and give it a rub so that some of it's misty, some of it's spray, some of it's smeary. So I'm just going to give it a squirt, give it a rub, give it a squirt. Give it a rub, give it a squirt, give it a rub. Another one? Sure. Okay, now, you know me, I gotta remember the corners in the middle, but I'd rather not spray my whole desk, so I'm just spraying it on my paper towel and getting some in this corner, and I'll get some in this corner. Okay. Now I'm just gonna keep using this and I'm gonna go over to the pink now and give it a spray or a spritz or a splash. Give this a rub. Again, this is getting low. So there we go, get a couple on there. Give it a rub. And then see if I can get some pink up in this corner. I'm gonna give this cloth again a spray of the pink. Get some in this corner. Comes off on my table fine enough. There we go. Get some more up here. All right, I think we got the corners. And it doesn't matter if the edges are done completely. I'm just going to lift this to the side. 
cover up my inks. And isn't this exciting? Wow. Wiping down the desk. But I tell you, it does help a lot if you just get it right away with some water. And then later when you come in here with some kitchen cleaner or whatever household cleaner, it, it really makes a difference in getting it off like that. Okay. All right. Now that we've got this. Because of the rubbing, I can see little places that want to lift a little, and that's, you know, normal. I really gave it a scrub, so I'm just going to tack some of these little places down. And again, this is the back of the cards. It's not the front of the cards, so I'm not worried about getting a whole lot more decorated than this, because I think they'll look just fine. Now this is going to be the front of our cards. And I'm just looking if I wish I had a little pink or a little more blue some places. And I think I do. I'll get a little pink piece here. I put my glue book down. Not that far though. Well, not that close I guess. Let's see. Oh, it's right here. <sighs> wake up, Julie. Wake up, wake up. Let's get a little more of the decorated paper. See, I think it could use some right here. And then I was looking over here at maybe some blue would be nice. So let's get that. Just being away from it long enough to smear that ink around, I can, you know, I'm, I'm getting a different view. Okay. All right. I think that's better. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. All right. I am setting this paper aside now. I don't think we're going to be doing any more with book page. And I don't think we're going to be doing any more with the collage paper. Okay, so next step on this. I think I do want to add some ink. You know, it's one of those things that I do in one spot, and I kind of remember how much I like it, and so now I'm doing it in the other spot. I'm just getting some glue off of my fingers because I don't want to tear up what I've made. I'm getting a paper towel and I think I'm going to start out with the pink this time. Now I'm going to lift this up. Wow. We've got a lot of ink on the, let's see. Can I, <laughs> it's not that much, I guess. All right. I'm going to have to lift this up a little bit. Okay. I can even feel it on my arm. And just rub some of this on. Yeah. And I like those drips. I really do. Okay, I'm going to give this a little glue. And let's go in here. And look at this lid. There's a technique for you. Yeah, I don't mind that. Still spots coming out. Okay. Yep. Spots are good. Spots are fine. All right. Here's that blue color. How about some here? And let's give it a rub. Yeah, good. Real good. Okay. Let's glue down the little places that I can see are coming up because I was rubbing it. Thought I had a little bit more right there. Is this one? No. This one? No. Well, here and here. 
All right. Let's see about trimming this up. And then while I do this, oh, I want to thank you for seeing this video through this far. I appreciate it so much. If you would consider liking, subscribing, as I said, I'm over 90 subscribers and at 100 subscribers, we're having a giveaway. So that is coming right up. Could be this week. So I will have a video specifically, we'll talk about it and you'll know which video I'm going to select to comments. Well, I'm, you know, I'm not selecting them, but I'm just, everyone who comments on that video, I'm going to put their name in a hat. We're going to draw it up and we're going to have some giveaway prizes. Yes. And I've got some fun things. I wish I could tell you it's going to be key, keys to a Cadillac, but no, not quite that good. But still, I always like getting a little giveaway, don't you? Sure. All right, I think, I think we've got it trimmed up so it looks nice now. Yes, yes, I see a couple more places, and even just the fact that the, um, Little, little spots got wet can just make them want to lift a little bit. Okay. So in our next video, I'm going to be decorating this up. This is the back. This is the front. We're going to decorate. We're going to cut it up and we're going to finish up making some nice cards, either some artist trading cards. I still haven't made my mind up yet. Artist trading cards or maybe postcard size. Um, just seeing what, what I have on hand and what I need. In the meantime, thanks so much for joining me. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.